What's going on guys, Alex here and uh, today's video is going to be the review on my Audi S3. So the Audi is a 15 plate S3 saloon, uh, picked it up in September uh, 2015 and um, yeah so got rid of the Fiesta, he did an upgrade and I decided the S3 was the best one for me. So let's talk about uh, a little bit about it. So um, spec. It's uh, finished in a gloss black metallic plate, uh, not plate, paint. Uh, let's see. So, some of the options on it was it's got the magnetic ride uh, suspension that Audi do that you can find on the R8 and lots of other different models. It's got obviously the red calipers, as you can see. It's got S3 logo on the calipers. Xenon headlights, uh, which were a must for me. Um, obviously it usually has the silver wing mirrors but I've wrapped mine in anthracite carbon fiber because well why not so that's pretty much the outside of it so a little bit about the car it's 300 brake it's it's got the Audi Quattro running system it's got the S-Tronic gearbox which is the same as the DSG box so it's uh, it's the dual clutch one, so the gear shifts are immediate and it's just an amazing experience. Like when I first took it out for the test drive, I didn't even think it was gonna be anywhere near as good as what it was. Everything just surprised me. It was just literally amazing. So well, some other modifications you can see from the outside are I have tinted the rear lights, uh, well smoked them a little bit, just to give it that little bit of a meaner look because well Red was quite bright and it stuck out quite a bit so being an all black car I wanted to I wanted it to look as uh, as mean as it could. So um, the other specs are all on the inside obviously as that's where you spend most of the time. So it's got a bang and off sound system which is amazing. It's got sub in sub in the boot and everything. So there's a little pop-up screen, you can open and close it from there. You've got the standard Audi flat bottom steering wheel, which I have to admit is one of my favorite steering wheels ever because it just feels so good while driving and and all that. So, um, so yeah, that's the well, DSG box. Well, S-Tronic, I should say. And uh, so we bring up the menu on here. It's got a sat nav, telephone, media, everything you can imagine it's got it so here we can choose car settings so you've got the efficiency uh, setting where the ride is comfort uh, comfortable but when you're driving along you know, it's not using up full boost it uses about three quarter boost at the most like when you're flooring it in efficiency mode which is nice and um, if you're doing like a long motorway journey if your foot's not on the accelerator, it'll actually just kind of stick the car into neutral and just roll along. So you're just using less less petrol. So it's well, it's efficient for that reason. Then next up is the comfort mode, and this is just your standard driving mode. Rides comfortable, gear changes are smooth, everything's just nice and comfortable, nice and quiet in the cabin as well. Next up is the auto mode and that's you're just driving along the car decides what it needs to be at what time so if you're driving normally gear shifts will be normal if you decide to just hoon it a little bit and just plant your foot then it'll go into the sort of like dynamic mode and so obviously next up is the dynamic mode itself so everything like all the suspension is all firmed up gear changes are instant and it's a lot more aggressive and then you've got your individual mode which you can just set up to whatever you want yourself. So let's say, for example, if you want uh, sort of loudness of the dynamic mode, you can set the engine to sound like that, but you still want to retain the smoothness of the gear changes from the comfort mode, then you can do that. But 
I personally prefer to always keep it in comfort mode but, and then switch to dynamic myself when when it's needed sort of like when you're just going down the back lanes you want to have a little bit of fun so yeah so that's the outside bit now I'm gonna set the camera up and uh, go inside and we'll go for a little drive and we've got the GoPro set up so it can record some exhaust sounds as well so yeah right so here we go I've just realized that I'm an idiot and I forgot to put an SD card into the GoPro so won't be recording the exhaust sounds now but I do have an old clip where where I've got a uh, launch control uh, recorded I've got a standard drive mode and also the uh, sport mode of the DSG box so I'll be adding them in towards the end of the video uh, well after all this bit so I'm just gonna quickly go down some uh, so the old back roads just to sort of show off show off the car a little bit so currently in the comfort mode so it's still nice and quiet inside it's not too loud although even in sport mode it's not really that loud inside but you do you do hear that little bit more of a, of a grunt from the car so driving the car it's it's amazing it's just so comfortable like the ride is just smooth like you can just go down the road and I've not had anyone say anything about a car being uncomfortable or too loud which I used to get all the time in my old car which which was a bit annoying because well <laughs> I built the car to be loud and uncomfortable so <laughs> that, that was pretty much it so yeah so the cars MPG which is uh, one of the main things that most people tend to look at when buying a car. It's, it's not amazing, but then again, I didn't buy this car to be economical. It, standards, it's about between 20 to 25 MPG driving around town, that, that sort of normal driving. I've recently just uh, come back from Italy and I drove down there and drove back uh, down to the Alps and I averaged about 35 MPG, which was a lot more than what I was thinking for I mean, a 300 brake all-wheel all drive car and fully loaded, it, like the, entire, the boot was full, uh, had five people in the car and everything, so it really impressed me uh, on that extent. So, got a little bit of empty road with no one around, so I'm going to do a quick launch control. So to do that, I turn traction control fully off, stick it in sport mode. Left foot on brake, right foot on accelerator, and when you're ready, let off. And the car just flies away. Now, launch control, I didn't even know the car had. Um, I just found it out by pure accident. I was just browsing through one of the forums, saw someone asking about how to activate launch control on their car. I was like, oh, I wonder if maybe my car's got it. So I tried it and oh, I've never stopped using it since. Because <laughs> it's just one of those things, you're, you're at the traffic lights, turns red and you're at the front. It's, it's just one of those things which like, has to be done. I can't not do it. So um, in, well, in the cabin, currently back into normal drive mode. So as you can hear, it's not too loud. You can still talk to people nice and quietly without having to shout over the exhaust. So if we just stick it into sport mode now, hopefully the camera will pick up that it sort of becomes a little bit louder. Like the car starts to like tense up, kind of drops drops the gears, builds up the revs already, so it's ready to go when you plant your foot. But just wait for this corner, and then I'll plant my foot. So. sport mode so 
I'd imagine that there are valves, but if there aren't, then well, it's still amazing nonetheless. And uh, when it's sport mode, when you're driving along and, and the car changes gears, uh, it does do little pops every now and then, which is quite nice from the standard exhaust. I, I was expecting, I, w I really wasn't expecting it to do anything like pops or bangs or nothing like the sorts. So this road's a little bit bumpy, so I could just see the camera shaking. Hopefully, hopefully the video's not too bad, but yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> so yeah, so obviously being automatic, you've also got you can always put it into manual mode just by moving the gear shift, uh, the, gear, the, the gear lever to the left, or just by clicking on the paddles on the steering wheel, and it will just automatically go into into manual mode. You, even while retaining the well, the gear shifter in in the, in the automatic position, but if you don't do anything with the paddles, uh, it's still not worked out after how long it is, but. I don't know if it seems to be about 15 to 20 seconds then it will just go back to the automatic mode by itself but that's only if the shifter is still in the automatic position whereas if it's in the manual then, then it's just fully manual so you, you can decide what to do and when you want it to do it so that's about it for, for this video I mean this car overall is a great car I mean, it's comfortable, you've got plenty of room for, for passengers, even the people in the back, they've got plenty of leg room. Boot-wise, it is quite nice, you, you can fit a fair bit in there, but, I don't know, for like long trips and holidays, just wish that it had that little bit of extra room, because obviously being in saloon, you've got the flat top, so you can't really stuff anything up there. But yeah. Oh, uh, another option that I forgot, and I just uh, remembered now, is these sport seats. I think they're 750 pound extra or something, and it's just got diamond stitching, uh, this Napa leather, and slightly more buckety, which is always nice. So yeah, I think that's about it for the video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna put in the uh, the exhaust clips uh, just after this this little outro. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys stick around and uh, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel as there'll be plenty more videos coming along and they'll be getting better every time. Obviously, I'm still in the beginning stages, so I'm just doing my car and all that sort of stuff, but I'll be getting better as I progress, so the video quality will keep going up and up and up. And I mean, some of you might notice that the quality should in theory be better this time because oh, I've just bought a new camera. I've got a Canon G7X. So the video should now all be in full HD rather than sort of the 480, 720 that I had from before with my old camera. So yeah, I'm gonna stick the clips in after this. And yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching and uh, catch you later. Cheers. One last thing before I go, I thought I should uh, add in a quick little sort of like acceleration video. So I'm gonna stick the car into sport mode and uh, just do a quick little acceleration up this dual carriageway. So, so take it up to 70. So yeah, as you can see, it gets there pretty quick. So. Yeah, that's it guys, uh, and I'll catch you later. So don't forget to subscribe and stick around for more videos coming soon. Cheers.